Okay, here we go with this video here. This video is about the most important dates in all the time that we've So here's our six key dates or most important dates. Guys, you've got to know these and understand these for the test. It'll help you so much if you memorize these six key dates. So our timeline goes from 1607 to 1877. Remember, our first date is 1607, Jamestown, Virginia, the first successful English settlement or colony. Next is 1776, the Declaration of Independence. 1787, the United States Constitution. 1803, the Louisiana Purchase. And 1861 to 1865, you have the Civil War. You also need to remember 1620 was the Mayflower Compact and the first self-government. And in 1877, it was the end of Reconstruction and federal troops or the military troops were removed out of the South, officially ending Reconstruction. So these are your six most important dates. Let's look at them in a little bit more detail with some pictures. 1607 was the first England's first successful colony, Jamestown, Virginia. Virginia is right here. So in 1607, Jamestown was the first English settlement. This first English settlement made the first representative government, the Virginia House of Burgesses. In 1620, we have Plymouth, Massachusetts. We have the Pilgrims coming and moving into Massachusetts and making a colony. These Pilgrims, they were escaping for religious freedom and away from persecution in England. In 1620, on the boat, they create the Mayflower Compact, which was the first self-government. In 1776, we have the Declaration of Independence. It was written by Thomas Jefferson. It separated the colonies from England. It created the United States, and it also listed our problems or our grievances with England. Now, here are some of the grievances. Taxation without representation. King has too much power. We had no right to complain or to petition the king. The quartering act was annoying. It allowed, uh, the king allowed for redcoats to search our houses without a warrant, and there was, the king did not allow for a trial by a jury. So this made us mad. 1787, we wrote the Constitution. The founding fathers or the framers, they trashed or rewrote the Articles of Confederation to make the federal government stronger. They did this in a meeting called the Philadelphia Convention or the Constitutional Convention. So in this room are the 55 founding fathers or framers of the Constitution. So the Constitution in 1787, it created three branches. The legislative branch, which is Congress, the executive branch, which is the president, and the judicial branch, which is the Supreme Court. Here's a little diagram. Now remember, in the legislative branch, Congress is our representatives. And in the Great Compromise, Congress was split into two groups, the House of Representatives, which is based in population, and Senate, which is every state has an equal number of representatives. In 1803, Thomas Jefferson buys the Louisiana Purchase from France. It doubles the size of the United States, and it gives us control of the Mississippi River. Finally, 1861, we have the Civil War. We fight against ourselves because of three main reasons, sectionalism, slavery, and states' rights. 